Hi guys, it is a it is a bit cloudy but a otherwise pleasant spring day here in the Orwellian police state lockdown here in the economic collapse of 2020. It is Friday morning uh, April 17th, 2020, I believe, and I am Sam Mitchell. This is my little co-pilot. Uh, Sancho Panza doing what we do every Friday and that's go over to my number one favorite environmental uh, newsletter talking about various ways the planet is collapsing and uh, that would be when I go over to mongabay.com to see how Rhett Butler and the boys and girls at Manga Bay are bringing you news of the collapse and uh <clears throat> like pretty much like i have done here at collapse chronicles rhett has pretty much he now has has pretty much has two uh <clears throat> two newsletters although his are combined and that is the collapse chronicles and the corona panic chronicles about 50 50 about Unlike the mainstream media, where 99.95% of uh, news is uh, on the corona panic, Rhett's batting about 50-50. So uh, I want to thank Manga Bay for letting me do both my corona panic and my chronicle of the the. the Chronicle of the Collapse and the Corona Panic. So I think we're going to start <coughs> with the Corona Panic uh, news where Rhett Butler and Manga Bay, you know, try to bring a, uh, a conservation angle to uh, anyone suffering some sort of delusion that the Corona Panic is good for this planet. Uh, Manga Bay is uh, putting that ridiculous apocalyptic myth to rest. There is nothing good. Well, I won't say nothing. Uh, there is a tiny bit that is good for this planet. But on the whole, the corona panic is a lot worse for the planet than it is good for the planet. And I absolutely, I cannot make this up. Right here, before he even starts, he, he has a notice that as a public health precaution due to the corona panic, the Earth 2020, the 2020 Earth Optimism Summit has gone digital. <laughs> the, uh, the Earth Optimism Summit has uh, has been canceled uh, because of uh, <coughs> the corona panic. Uh, my little <coughs> dog is off chasing squirrelies. No, that's not squirrelies. I see the cardinal family is already the baby cardinals are already learning to fly. Sancho, I know you're not going to sit here and kill a baby cardinal while I'm having this rant. Uh, it's only April, mid-April, and the babies are already out learning to fly. Anyway, I hope you were not planning to attend the Earth Optimism Summit. But... <laughs> uh, you know, not even the onion could come up with this. Okay, uh, we already touched on this last week, uh, but uh, Manga Bay's kicking off with this uh, article by whoever Ty Borges and Sue Branford are talking about how more and more experts, you know, are talking about how rapid deforestation of the Brazilian anim Amazon could bring the next pandemic, you know, the real pandemic. Uh, <clears throat> Scientists 
warned that the next emergent pandemic could originate in the Brazilian Amazon if Jair Bozo Nero's policies continue to drive Amazon deforestation rates ever higher. <clears throat> Researchers have long known that new diseases typically arise at the nexus between forest and agribusiness, mining, and other human development. One, um, just one way that deforestation leads to new disease emergence is through fire, like the Amazon blazes seen in 2019, and the aftermath of wildfires altered habitat often offers less food, changing animal behavior, bringing foraging wildlife into contact with neighboring humans, creating vectors for zoonotic bacteria, viruses, and parasites. And with all of that, now Bozo Nero is pushing to open indigenous lands and conservation units to mining and agribusiness policies which greatly benefit land grabbers escalating deforestation, you know, thank you uh, Jair Bozo Nero, worsened by climate change, growing drought and wildfire heightened the risk of the emergence of new diseases along with epidemics of existing ones such as malaria. <clears throat> okay, many articles from Sub-Saharan Africa uh, which even the mainstream media, CBS News talking about this, that uh, probably the most, well, not probably, uh, obviously the most devastating uh, example of how coronavirus is bad news for the planet is all of this evidence already pouring in from sub-Saharan Africa about how the economic lockdowns, mainly the, the complete collapse of the tourism trade in Africa. On, on one hand, you have the, the absolute collapse of the tourism business, which is gonna be shut down, you better believe, uh, all summer long. You have that in combination with uh, millions, hundreds of millions of, of people barely living on the margins as it were, suddenly being told they are not allowed to go out there and, 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 and work for a living, which means they are starting to starve to death. And who do you think they're going to eat? It is their fellow earthlings that uh, poaching the bushmeat trade, poaching both just to eat the animals and to do whatever they can to make some money on the black market, the, uh, the corona panic is, is a death warrant uh, for our fellow earthlings in sub-Saharan Africa and we are starting to see already the beginning of the next and final megafaunal extinction unfolding. So anyway, <clears throat> that's, uh, Manga Bay has several articles. I just wanted to frame that. Here we're going to look at gorillas. <clears throat> For great apes at risk of infection, you know, from the virus, <clears throat> Uh, the corona panic is also an economic threat, with flights grounded, parks closed, and countries on economic lockdown. The coronavirus has dealt a major blow to great ape-focused ecotourism operations in both Africa and Asia. Many conservation activities re rely directly on revenue from tourism. And the money tourism brings also provides a financial incentive for governments and local communities to protect wildlife. If lockdowns persist for months, as they will, the consequences could be devastating 
for fragile ape populations and the communities that surround them. Okay, come here, little dog. Come on now. Well, guys, it is starting to drizzle, and I don't want my uh, camera getting wet. So excuse the interruption, but I need to move. I need to move this uh, video under cover. Let me fold up my chairs. Bear with me for a minute, and we're gonna. Come on, little dog. It's starting to rain. <clears throat> We're going to leave the cottonwood tree behind and return to the shelter of, uh, of my office here. All right. Let me get back on track. Okay. We're going to go from uh, sub-Saharan Africa back to Brazil. In, Bra in Brazil, um, virus outbreak paves way for invasion of indigenous lands. Reports of continuing land invasions, killings of indigenous leaders, and rising numbers of coronavirus infections inside indigenous reserves has raised concerns about the increased vulnerability of indigenous communities to violence and infection by illegal extraction gangs as the pandemic rages. Uh, there you go. Fear of the spread of the virus by non-indigenous invaders inside Brazil's indigenous communities has grown in recent days following the death of uh, somebody from the Yanomami tribe. Uh, at least five indigenous people have been a infected, although that number is much bigger. Okay, let's go over there to Sri Lanka, where we find Sri Lanka's corona panic lockdown raises poaching threat. Wow, imagine that. This, of course, you know what's bad for sub-Saharan Africa it is anywhere where these economic lockdowns, where people are not allowed to uh, make money to feed themselves and their families. Uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, Sri Lanka, probably West Virginia. Uh, <clears throat> your, the bushmeat trade obviously is going through the roof. A lockdown, this is in Sri Lanka, a lockdown in posed a month ago to battle the corona panic has <clears throat> created greater freedom for some wild animals in Sri Lanka's popular national parks. Uh, but the flip side uh, it is obviously, you know, what we've been talking about. This is just the same story, which you can just go around the planet and, and have this story. Okay, what's going on in the jungles of Borneo? Indonesia's new capital in the Bornean jungle is on hold amid the corona <laughs> panic. So, you know, this is an example of one of the few bright spots. Plans to kick off the construction of Indonesia's new capital city in Borneo have been put on hold. Uh, the government had planned to begin building the infrastructure for the new city in the jungle in the second half of this year. Uh, oh well. <clears throat> Environmental experts who continue to oppose the project, citing its impact on the forest, people, and wildlife <clears throat> of Borneo, have welcomed the news of its sidelining. Yes, I bet they have. <clears throat> 
Alright, then we're going to move through some collapse stories we're going to come back to. Okay, as long as we're over there in Indonesia, <clears throat> imagine this. We just heard this story from Brazil, and here's the same story from Indonesia. <clears throat> Land conflicts escalate with spread of corona panic in Indonesia. <clears throat> Companies embroiled in land disputes with rural communities in Indonesia appear to be using the lull in environmental oversight during the corona panic to strengthen their land-grabbing claims, activists say. And this, of course, this, this story is very much alive and well right here in the U.S. Uh... Since the first confirmed cases of the disease were reported on March 2nd, two local land defenders have been killed and four arrested in connection with land disputes in Sumatra and Borneo. Uh, the National Human Rights Commission has called on companies, including oil, palm oil, and mining firms to cease their activities during this public health emergency. Oh yes, you can bet uh, they're doing that. Uh, this is almost an identical story that we heard last week. I can't remember, was it in the Philippines also? Uh, talking about how these uh, economic lockdowns you know, shutting down, uh, you know, forcing millions and millions of people uh, to start uh, killing and eating their fellow earthlings because they have no other choice. So while all that is going on, here's this uh, the latest example of how this big mining... Uh, uh, this is... Tecaron resources uh, are being exempted from these lockdowns. And uh, this is how the Department of Environment and Natural Resources uh, in the Philippines, which originally uh, had blocked, you know, this big ship or whatever, uh, their permit, now they have overturned their own decision and it, they've later overturned its own decision and allowed the mining company to continue its operations. Yes, do you think so? Uh... Imagine that. Okay, so China has now released its list of animals to be farmed uh, after the corona panic. Yes, uh, now the, the, the list includes reindeer, alpacas, and ostriches, but it did specify that dogs should be classified as companion animals rather than livestock raised for food, which is a big victory for animal advocacy. Yes. <laughs> All right. How are we going to celebrate the 50th Earth Day amid the corona panic. Yes, what does it mean to be celebrating the 50th Earth Day amid the corona panic? Uh, how do we keep attention focused on environmental issues during such a widespread panic? A health crisis born of our mistreatment of the environment. How do we push back on attempts to use this corona panic as cover 
for pushing through environmental damaging projects and policies. These are questions that, uh, you know, talking about how on the 50th, on the eve of the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, that all environmental news has been completely obliterated off the face of the mainstream media. There is zero attention being uh, paid to uh, the, environ, uh, the environmental media and that going lockstep with all over the planet starting right here in the U.S. with the planet eaters <clears throat> just being given complete license to uh, to do whatever they need to do to continue business as usual with nobody there to get in their way. <clears throat> Thank you to the Orwellian police state response <clears throat> to the corona panic. You don't get that squirrely like that. <clears throat> All right. So what are the indigenous people in South America doing about the corona panic? Last month, indigenous leaders in Peru, Bolivia, Colombia, and Ecuador began to restrict access of non-residents into their communities. Um, meanwhile, Colombia uh, confirm the first two cases of, of the virus in their indigenous communities. Uh, here's Peru. Uh, an indigenous leader in Peru who tested positive for the virus has become the target of attacks on social networks. Uh, all right. Uh, and what's bad for wild animals in, uh, <clears throat> in sub-Saharan Africa is also bad for captive animals where coronavirus is a crisis for South Africa's captive lions campaigners warn captive lions in South Africa could face starvation or, if they're lucky, euthanization as tourist revenues disappear amid the corona panic, according to animal welfare groups. Uh, <clears throat> conservationists argue that the corona panic illustrates why exploitation of wildlife is risky. In the case of lions, the big cats can carry both tuberculosis and the feline equivalent of HIV, and it's now uh, being found that they also can carry coronavirus. Uh, Okay, let's see, I know, uh, all right, back to the Brazilian Amazon, imagine this, despite the corona panic, Amazon deforestation races higher, <clears throat> despite the economic impacts of the corona panic, deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon continues to rise, reaching the highest level recorded since at least April of 2008, according to official data from Brazil's own uh, agencies. Uh, the latest research, deforestation monitoring shows that forest clearing in the Brazilian Amazon amounted to 327 square kilometers in March, pushing 
the total area of deforestation detected by the system during the past year at 9,152 square kilometers, the highest level for a 12-month period in 12 years. The new figures come amid rising fears that illegal loggers and speculizers are using the corona panic as an opportunity to invade indigenous lands and protected areas in Brazil. However, the rise in Amazon deforestation predates the emergence of the corona panic uh, and has increased sharply since President Jair Bozo Nero took office in January of last year. Uh, okay, what is going on with the Vaquita porpoise? You knew the Vaquita porpoise was going to show up eventually in a Corona Panic Roundup rant. Corona Panic forces Sea Shepherd to suspend its patrols to protect the world's very last vaquitas. Yes, marine conservation group Sea Shepherd has made the difficult decision to suspend its campaign to protect the critically endangered vaquita porpoise in Mexico's Gulf of California. Uh, quote, we have not had much choice because we are dependent upon getting our fuel from the Mexican government to do our patrols, and we are no longer able to get the fuel. Yes. Now back down to Colombia as Colombian indigenous groups rush to protect their elders from the virus. Uh, this is more about how indigenous reserves are shutting down their uh, <clears throat> protected areas to invaders. However, this also means that it will now be more difficult for indigenous communities to obtain basic goods and services. Yes, the corona panic adds another layer of stress to communities that have been beset with violence and hardship for decades. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, what is going on with conservation careers during the corona panic, 80%, 80% of conservation careers negatively affected by corona panic. A survey of 330 conservationists and 67 conservation employers in March and April of 2020 shows that nearly 80% of conservationists have been negatively impacted by the corona panic, while about 9 in 10 conservation employers have been impacted. Right next to that story, conservation field search, field research interrupted. You know, this is conservation, this is climate science, this is any environmental research has been interrupted. And that's a polite way of saying uh, knocked off the table. How the corona panic is stalling science. Travel, social, and funding restrictions imposed in response to the corona panic have taken a toll on scientific research worldwide. Graduate students and early career scientists have seen their plans for field research 
and projects thrown into uncertainty while science conferences on issues from everything to climate change to conservation have been postponed. Uh, researchers working with live organisms are having to make the tough decisions of which ones to keep alive amid a shortage of research. Long-term research projects, some going back decades, face an unprecedented break in data gathering and there is now widespread uncertainty about how long grants and other funding sources will be available. Anyway, guys, I think we get it. Is there anybody left at this point uh, believing for one minute that the corona panic is a good thing for this planet? Uh, every single day, uh, the research is pointing in that the Orwellian police state lockdowns of an entire planet is bad news for the planet. And of course, the bottom line here, guys, is uh, for those three or four people on the planet still sticking with me at this point, the planet is screwed. Whether the economy keeps on chugging along with business as usual or we bring down the global industrial economy. Uh, the evidence is pouring in that it makes no difference. This is frying pan versus the fire. A healthy economy, our fellow earthlings are screwed. A crippled economy, our fellow earthlings are screwed. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up the Corona Panic uh, Manga Bay Roundup and come back in one minute with the non-Corona Panic uh, Chronicles of the Collapse. Enjoy your Orwellian police state lockdown while you still can. Bye, guys.